Americans are wealthier than any people in the history of the world. Yet many are stressed out about their finances. Do you even know where all your money goes? Many people don't. A lot of people get into financial trouble by constantly spending more than they earn. Someone could get to a point where they're literally spending over $1,000 a month and they're not chipping away at the debt at all. You have to worry about your spending. You have to worry if when you retire, you can meet your goals. You end up living your life in a way of you're always playing catch up. And so you live behind instead of forward. I think that has a profound impact on one's stress level, but also just their capacity for the enjoyment of life. If I could only teach to young people today just one financial literacy skill is to construct their own financial budget. It's stuff that really sometimes can seem very basic, but clearly is not. I think that there is really no financial literacy when people don't understand time value of money. I'm saying for regular middle class families, the difference can be hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think the biggest thing with people not knowing about the financial market or not knowing about a plan or saving a budget, they are afraid that they'll sound stupid or they don't know anything about it, so just don't talk about it at all. But I think that's the worst thing you could do. The more you talk about things, the better you understand them, the more you know, the more you can share. Most people don't need an education or know how to buy more pizza or go out with their friends more. But it takes education and it takes sacrifice, character traits, if one's gonna really learn the practice of saving, goal setting, budgeting, things of that nature. Can you be financially secure even if you don't make a lot of money? Can ordinary folks invest in the stock market with manageable risk? The answers to these questions are the beginning of a checklist for what we call financial literacy.